Welcome to an Action Vigor co-review! Because uh, just before I started filming, my chihuahua leapt on my lap. So she sat on my leg behind this tripod looking awfully confused. Uh, and if we time this right, she might try and walk on the table. Say hello, Minnie. Say hello. No? Okay. Um, welcome, everybody, to an Action Vigor review. Another Marvel Legends quote-unquote retro stroke classic style um, action figure based on the Spider-Man animated series, this time featuring a character who was never in the Spider-Man animated series of the 90s. Flint Marco, a.k.a. William Baker, a.k.a. The Sandman. I have been dying to get a hold of this. I had a Sandman from the Toy Biz line of Spider-Man classics from years ago. I still have him, but he's very busted. He is in the six-inch figure scale but he's also, excuse me, Spidey. Whoop. But he's also, like, if the six-inch figures are, on average, like, five foot eleven in terms of their, their character height, um, uh, five foot eleven matching six inches, then the Sandman's, like, seven foot five. He's weirdly out of proportion. His accessories were hand, um, like, uh, swap out his hands at the wrists and replace them with sand uh, accessories, sort of that kind of deal. But the peg of the hand was so rubbery that mine snapped off after, like, the second use of the hand for something else. And I had this figure back when I was, like, still playing with action figures, not just displaying or collecting them. So that was disappointing. Uh, so for years, that figure, which is in a box in my collection, had his, like, right hand capable of being switched out for accessories, and his left hand was permanently a normal hand because I'd had to glue a normal hand. I had to make a decision. And his normal hand was glued. So it's, it's this odd, odd character um, in terms of the figures that have come before. Uh, right, Minnie, I'm going to have to put you down. Do you want to say hi to the camera real briefly? <laughs> Love you. Let's take a look at his box. It's the classic 90s style Toy Biz-esque Spider-Man packaging again. Marvel Sandman, because I guess they have to clarify. It's one of those legal issues. He comes with Sand Mace. What's Sand Mace, you ask? Well... The action figure action mock-up here shows you that you can switch out his hands for sleeves and accessories on the end of the sleeves, plus he has a spare head. The bio reads, A massive dose of radiation bonds petty criminal William Baker's body to sand, creating a massive threat to Spider-Man! Do-do-do-do-do-do uh, up there. So, yeah, without further ado, dang doo da Let's open him up and check out what the Sandman has to offer. It's an always uh, easy point of comparison when you have a figure in the wave that's sort of like the neutral character or the main character. So we have Spider-Man because it means you can see how tall Sandman is uh, compared to Spidey. There is a nice, uh, nice bit of height to Flint Marco slash William Baker there over Spidey. Towers over him a little bit. Which is good. Keeps him nice and intimidating. Sandman's always been a slightly bulkier guy, too. Um, you might also notice, before we look at the Sandman proper, that I've put his spare head... Spearhead one? On Spider-Man's arm. Because it sort of shows you the effect of it. His spare head... has... a hole in the side. So if you wanted to have them posed mid-fight and have Spidey punching through Sandman's head <laughs> then all you've got to do is take Spider-Man's hand off and pop Sandman's head in the gap what a wonderful little um, wonderful little idea for the spare head when I first saw this figure I was a bit perplexed by the choice of spare head I was like why would you do that that's so weird and now in hand, I'm like, no, it's perfect. Because it means you can have, like, Spidey's leg, if, you, if you're if you bold enough to pop a foot off, kicking through it, put his hand through it. It's kind of genius. Let's have a look at that. So you've got a great look here at what the sand effect is, the idea of the sand being ever-shifting. There's a lot of different particles in there, a lot of different lumps and bumps. Obviously not as small as, as they'd probably like it to go, but for a six-inch range, six-inch scale figure... That is a lot of detail, like the hole inside as well. And under this light, you can sort of see how crinkly it is. It's like his head's completely folded in on itself, because you can still see the white of his right eye. 
Oh, that's so cool. That is so, so cool. Like, if you're having him displayed like that and you don't want to show off the hole in the head too much, you can just love him tilt it to that side and you get the effect that his head's caved in. What a great little accessory. Um, I'm glad they included that. What a cool option. There's a couple of other accessories. Uh, each arm comes with a fist hand. This is his right hand. But then here is the accessory that would go if you popped off the left hand. Two pieces. What are these two pieces? Well, the first one is a sleeve uh, with a smaller edge. That's where the wrist of Sandman would go. So you pop the hand off, you put the arm in here, wedge it in as tight as you can. They slide up quite well up the arm. And then that is the where the wrist hole will then be. Now, if you're not that exotic, I guess you could just pop his hand back on, make it look like he's, I don't know, bursting apart at the wrist. Or, of course, you give him an additional spare hand. That's his left hand. Look at that. Spiky punch fist hand. No articulation, but that's because, well, you'll see. You would then place that inside, and the sculpt kind of informs where it sits, really. This hand sits like that. Uh, you can't really... I mean, you could angle it a little bit, but to get it straight in the peg, it kind of needs to sit in where it's sculpted to sit. So that would be his hand on his left arm. I think that's really cool. They've done sort of like overlapping sand for the wrist in a separate sleeve. That is a great decision. Now, this hand, of course, is limited to just being on his left side because it's a left hand. But as you can see from the one that I've put on the figure, the mace is the other one, which you could do on either arm. So to give you a better look, and without Spidey pulling focus every two seconds, to give you a better look, that comes off. And then... Gentle little wiggle. Uh, again, this the smaller, splashier, and less bulky of the two is the one that goes with the mace hand because the mace sits comfortably in a few different positions uh, within this arm. So there we go. Uh, that could go on his left arm, I suppose, as well. Uh, his hands look like this. Wrists are nice and green, so it's easy to find them when you're putting the sand sleeve on and you want to put a peg in. And there we are. So, articulation for the Sandman. Enter Sandman as he is back in the shot. We have Gyot. Um, pivot feet. No rotation as far as I can tell at the ankle. But they are boots, so they're sturdy. I'm so worried they were going to give him the formal shoes, which fail so miserably on MCU Claw and Jameson and other characters. Double knee joint. Decent amount of uh, bend there. Looks like a face. Um, articulation at the thigh. Oh, hello. Camera taking a dive. Articulation at the crotch, which allows for a decent range of movement. He has a waist swivel. Got the overlap, but that's fine. He has a pretty decent ab crunch, really. It's not the most flexy, but it's not bad. Shoulders go out and around. They stretch out quite far too. Do be mindful of his upper arms. They're a little... Uh, the joint pulls away a little from the top bit, so be careful with them. Big strong boy, though. Got proper biceps and double joints in his elbow to allow for a pretty decent bit of flexy movement, which obviously will be hampered when you've got the gauntlets on, the gauntlets made of sand, and the hands tilt in. So if you want your... Flint Marco slash William Baker to show off his guns that he can. There's his head. Really nice sculpt on this too. Very, you know, because they've gone for the classic look, it, it just sort of it looks a bit like an alternate Norman Osborn. But compare this to the Norman Osborn head that came with the Green Goblin in this wave. They are distinctly different faces. But because of the signature hair, if you wanted to have a manic uh, Osborn, or if you're a custom figure maker and you're looking for alternate heads for your Green Goblin, then you could absolutely... Um, sculpt this to work as an alternate goblin head, I think. Uh, he looks spectacular as is. I, I'm really, really chuffed with him as is, but let's see what he looks like. A bit more of an action scenario. A situation. Ouch! <laughs> oh, that looks really cool. A little, little bit tough to get him to stand like that naturally. If you had some kind of... Uh, 
I don't know, thing to pose them with, or more of a display kind of vibe, it might be a little easier. But uh, all the same, <laughs> it's a really cool, oh, that's a really cool mechanic. Like, thank you, thank you, Hasbro, for giving us this Sandman head. What a fun, fun, ridiculous addition. I really rate this Sandman figure. This is uh, this is the first one I've had since the Toy Biz one. Uh, those out there who maybe have the Builder figure from a few years ago, please let me know what that's like. I have like the torso of that Builder figure because it came with one of the characters I've collected, um, but I, I don't have any of the rest of it. Let me know. Is that figure great? I'd, I'd love to hear your responses. This, as far as like a one and done, buy it and you've got the Sandman figure, it's pretty damn sweet. What do you think of it? Let me know down below. If you want to buy me a toy off of my wish list... Uh, then the link is in the description. You will get a shout out in the review. You are under no obligation to do so, of course. Don't worry about it. But there's plenty of Marvel Legends, Doki Who, Overwatch toys in there. So if you want to do as a solid, please feel free. If not, just support by liking the video, favoriting it, and coming back next time for another toy review. I'll see you real soon.